the Sam Darnold thing. What what are we doing? Like, can we at least see a good game before we like uh, start to crown someone who's categorically sucked? I mean, let's just like Sam Darnold. If we were just saying. Top three overall pick has played a lot for many coaches, lots of different teams, and has sucked. I mean, he sucked. It's Dude, okay to say it. It's Alex Smith's second year right. was better than anything <laughs> Sam Darnold ever did. So, as you are listening tonight, and I'm not even an Alex Smith fan. <laughs> KT and TF, him and AC one seven six always live on the free audio chat. We'll get to BPA in just a second. Thank you for waiting on hold. <laughs> Dude, listen. <laughs> I, I, when they signed Sam Darnold, you, I, I, when they signed Sam Darnold, I know this fan base too well. I know this organization too. We both do. We I grew know, up with them. I know. We know how we are. Sam Darnold could have started with. He could have signed with the Dallas Cowboys, and nobody in Dallas, Texas, would be talking about Sam Darnold's going to get first three reps. It'd be all about Dak, 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 Dak. Vegas, they could have signed Sam Darnold. Whatever the Rams, whatever. Of course, with the 49ers. it took two days. To hear the voice of the 49ers, Greg Papa, talk up Sam Darnold. It took about a month for Matt Mayoko to say, you know, he's the best thrower in the football I've ever seen here in Niner uniform. <laughs> I mean, like, a second come one, on. Dude. I'm like, Matt, come Matt, on. Matt. They've had multiple MVPs. Forget Young and forget Joe Montana. John Brody, does he not exist? Dude, I mean, Colin Kaepernick was a better thrower of the football than Sam Darnold. Now, he wasn't the most accurate at times, but throwing the football... Do we forget what Colin Kaepernick was doing on that field? Bob's deep shots? I mean, go look at the Tampa Bay game when he threw one at Vernon Davis. It's like, wow. I'm not even one a of big, greatest throws I've ever seen. I'm not even a big Jimmy fan, but Jimmy's had a collection of games better than anything that Sam Darnold's done. Can he throw it better than Trey Lance? I don't know. I don't even know what Trey is. I don't know. But, like, well, I just know what Sam... Look, all I'm saying is this. I'm not saying that Sam Darnold can't regain whatever right. you thought of him pre-draft. Right. All right? But can we at least acknowledge it's a reclamation project? It is, but you know okay? what? Okay, I'm not saying he can't be good. That's not what I'm here to say, right? If the Warriors could save JaVale McGee, okay? If the Warriors could somehow salvage Nick Young, right. then yeah, could I? Could Shanahan salvage you know, Sam Darnold? Maybe, but like at least acknowledge he's been god-awful right. for five years. No doubt. Not even good. I, not even mediocre. God-awful. But you know what? Now, you I, could say that the organizations I, that he right. was with suck. I, I could listen to that. And I'll listen to that. No, no but doubt. he was a part of them sucking. But I also, and I'll also listen to him being surrounded by a lot of stars. He is surrounded by George Kittle, Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, Brandon Ayuk. Those are four legit weapons. I'm excited about the tight end from Alabama, Latsu. I'm excited about your boy from Oklahoma. Uh, I still want to see Danny Gray go down the field. What do you draft Danny Gray for? He's going to take the top off the defense, right? Well, I want to see that this year with Danny Gray. This is the best system he's been in in his pro career. Let me ask there you. is something to that. Let me ask there you is this. something. You always find light to do. Hell, Tommy Maddox had to go to the XFL. Yeah. He came back with Pittsburgh. Boom. But he had showed a, good, a lot at he, a lot of stops. He showed a lot at a lot of stops, but he was struggling, right? He was a bust up until his Pittsburgh stint. Then he got his job taken yeah. by Ben Rosenberger. The rest is history. Mo- there are reclamation projects in the NFL. And Sam Darnold, there's a sister, a situation for him, a one-year prove-it deal with this system, yeah. with Kyle Shanahan calling the plays. I will listen to that, but I have to see it first. But, okay, so let's 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 play this out. Okay, I want to ask you two questions here. So so bear with me. Most people within the 49ers organization are telling us Brock Purdy's the guy. So yep. let's start with that known quantity. Brock Purdy's their guy. All right. If I suggest Trey Lance plays well for X amount of weeks and then Brock's ready, most people would say Brock should get his job back, right? right? Yep. Now, what happens if Sam Darnold starts at the beginning of the year and Sam Darnold plays well? Should Purdy still get his job back? I think you got to go with the hot hand, right? I'm I'm asking. I, I would think so. What do you think the answer is? I don't know what the answer is. Do you see where I'm going with this? I do see it. What if it's Trey Lance? Or Sam Darnold? Because you heard Laura, the, I, I asked her, because I, I, I asked everybody about this. Because everybody's talking about Brock. Everybody's talking about Sam Darnold. What about Trey? What if Trey's that guy? What if Trey balls out for for the fourth? What if he's four and one through five? And he loses a tight game to the Cowboys this Sunday football. Do you know what my theory is on life? What's that? You, you can't lose your job to an injury. Yes, you can. Alex <laughs> yeah. Smith did. Uh, 
Draymond Green took David Lee's right, job. because of an injury. Yeah, and we've never looked back. No doubt. Alex Smith absolutely did. It happens all over the place. What are you talking about? Tom Brady is the greatest example of all time. Right. right? Like, no, no, you can. I'm sorry, you can. Ben Roethlisberger that, again, no doubt. It's called getting Wally pipped. Right. Does anyone know where this story Phillip started? Rivers finally got the start in San Diego because Drew Brees got his shoulder. So, Justin Herbert. Justin, Justin Herbert. Herbert. Right before game Even time. Even though they invested what call. they invested. So this is what I would say. Could... Brock Purdy be their guy? Absolutely. If either guy, I'm not even going to say Trey. I'm going to say either guy. If Darnold or Trey Lance is winning at the beginning of the year, I do think you kind of stick with it. I, I'm with you there. You got to go with the high Depending head. on where Brock is in his rehab and blah, 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 blah. Like, to me, these seasons are all about just can you capture magic because, in a bottle. Well, also this, Shasko, I'm going to add to that because you're hitting on all the points. But well, we saw Brock, and he struggled at times down the stretch. But has Brock Purdy earned enough equity in the NFL to just say, all right, week seven, I'm ready to go. I'm going to start. No, none of these guys have. In none my these estimation, guys have. none, none of, these of these guys. Like, Brock has it. He Brock hasn't did. done anything like Jimmy Garoppolo. Trevor Lawrence has a more comprehensive resume than anyone on the Niners no roster doubt. at quarterback. And I would say to you, as high as I am on Trevor, even though he has the pedigree and, and all that, I would say... I'm skeptical. I want to see a second year of growth. Wouldn't you? Yep. Wouldn't you agree with me? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Um, what, what's what's Joe Burrow? A lot of people are like Joe Burrow wants to get paid. You know, all the money. Joe Burrow's had magical seasons, and a lot of people are like, yeah, but. And I'm like, really? Yeah, but on Joe Burrow, really? Yeah. I, no, I I'm with that. you. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Josh no, Allen. No, but there's people who have questions. Josh Allen. You know why? Because we have an impatient inside society. We're impatient. I mean, we, Joe Burrow's amazing. You don't get a long leeway, like. Before you get a quarterback, you draft him in the first round. It was automatic that that fan base, that organization, would give him would probably give him three to five years. Yeah, now, it's no matter three what, to five now games. it's like <laughs> seven games. I mean, you're not thinking, look at Zach Wilson. Look at Justin Fields. They pivoted off of yeah. Jack, Zach Wilson in well, two years. Well, it's for Aaron Rodgers, but they were going to pivot off him even anyway, before that. They yes. tried to last yes. year with Mike White, but I also think for him, Trey has been not good enough and injured. So, like that's his thing. I think Zach's is injured, yeah. not good enough. And kind of a jerk. Right. So, like, I, at least I'm reading the tea leaves on that one. Well, 510, speaking of tea leaves, Comcast Business Text Line, stop bashing on Sam Darnold with the right coaching and talent the Niners have. He'll be in position to succeed. Trey Lance doesn't have it. He won't start. I don't too know. None of them. I don't you know. Two what clouds should read the tea leaves, speaking of clouds, right? And tea leaves. Then 406, how full circle is this? Shasky asked him just to see a game. You guys remember a little video of you two crowded Lance at the practice? Well, I still believe Lance should have started that season. Look where we are now. Look where we're at now. By the way, watching Brady, and I thought about you last mm, night. What's that? Because you're like, go get Brady, go get Brady. Had they signed Brady? And I don't know if they win a Super Bowl or not, because I think the 20, 2020 team coming off that Super Bowl year, I didn't like the offensive line. I didn't like the way they went into the season. Whatever. But what if they had signed Brady? Oh, they had at least. I'm sorry. You could say they, they'd have one Super Bowl. Come on. Come be. 2021. Look they me in the face. I don't care what year. Pick whatever year you want. They would have won one Super Bowl. And the conversation would have been totally different. 100% different. And Shanahan would be able to write his contract. No doubt. Moving forward. So, I, I we'll see about Trey Lance. I haven't given up hope on Trey Lance. I expect him at OTAs would start tomorrow down to Santa Clara. If Jimmy was still the quarter, like, let's just say this. Brock did exactly what he did last year. And throw Trey and Sam Donald out of the equation. And Jimmy was the backup right now to Brock. But Brock wasn't healthy. And Jimmy started the year off 4-1. and one. You're not going back to Brock. There's now no is that chance. is that because Jimmy has more of a Equity, positive resume? Yeah, resume experience. This fan base would have said it's Jimmy's team. We've won with Jimmy. That's what they would have said. Yeah. That's what they still say. Yeah. We won with Jimmy, and they did win with Jimmy. Yeah, they did. It's a good point. But it ran its course. Another guy who had an injury and then lost his job, got it back, but then lost it again. Quan Alexander. It's a different position, right? Because it's obviously linebacker. Quan left. Drake Greenlaw stepped up. Quan came back. And he was okay, not was as good. But, like, let's be real. He lost his job because of the time that right. he missed. We realized, oh, Dre, Dre Greenlaw could Just play that good. position. Yeah, yes, no exactly. Doubt. And the same thing may happen to Dre Greenlaw this year because <laughs> he has I'm, a lot of injuries. That's what I'm saying. But Brian and Pete, uh, Paulo Alto, real quick before the break. BPA, what's happening? What's up, Brian? Hey, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, look, Brock, they led the league in points in his ninth start. Uh, he threw 17 touchdowns, three picks. They won every game except one in which he got hurt on, like, the third play of the game. So, like, I'm not sure what the complaints are <laughs> exactly, but, like, he's played his body of work surpasses, what has Trey made, like, three plus three throws in his entire NFL career? 
that look like, wow, this guy's got it. So, like, you know, there is a body of work there, and it's it's better than anything Jimmy ever put on tape as a coordinator. And if he's healthy, he's the starter. And they obviously think Darnold's probably their second best quarterback. He probably That's what they're ter- saying. Probably do you believe that? Do you believe that, BPA? Work. Do you believe that? Yes. I think Trey, Trey Lance's body of work was beating South Dakota State in 2020. Yeah, but Big Ben Roethlisberger went to the Miami of you know Ohio, of Ohio, and was terrible. I mean, Steve McNair, like I get where you're coming from Alcourt on like colleges. State. Did anyone watch George Kill at Iowa? No, like no. Okay, so he's look, guys. He's, this is his third year. This is let me put it this way: who had more? Who had flashed more at an equivalent point of their career? Trey Lance or James Wiseman? I'll say James Wiseman, who have never been high on at any point. Like, come on. All right, BPA, that's your opinion. We'll be here. 